You can't be diverse because you have one woman <laughs> who is white or one Latino who is male, or because that means you do not have, you're actually asking someone to represent a community that is not monolithic and a set of experiences that are not monolithic. Because one of the ways we unintentionally become exclusive is by only relying on people we know. And what we know is our networks tend to look like us. So if we only pull from our networks, then we're actually replicating a problem we don't mean to replicate. When you come to these conferences, think about it. You see the same old, same old faces, OK? That's not diversity enough. That's not diverse. Uh, you see the same people, the same clique. I represent a, uh, a immigrant community, a high immigrant community, where we have a large Caribbean um, um, population. We have a, a large Muslim population, a growing Mexican population, a large Jewish population. And I would say probably almost none of these small businesses are even aware of the programs um, that the city has set aside. My members do not utilize the state or the city certification processes as a major tool to identify MWBEs. You know why? Because we're not going to place ourselves in a risk of fraud. Okay. Very interesting that you brought that Legislation up. is needed, but in addition to legislation, what's needed is you got to put your money where your mouth is. And those certification uh, agencies have to go out like the school construction authority does, like the port authority does, okay, and visit every company and look at their financials and make sure they're a real company. Yes, fraud exists. We acknowledge that. However, the folks that really don't, that do not care about our communities will use that as an excuse to then not go and find MWBs, right? So we, we, we can't continue to have theoretical exercises. In the assembly, um, introduced around over 50 bills um, around uh, MWBE and, and small businesses. We actually um, passed about 10 of them in the assembly and four in the Senate and the Assembly. That's huge, because normally we pass none. So there's bills, and then there's bills. And when we hear about 50 bills being introduced mm -hmm. and only four being passed, I'm sorry. That sucks. Oh. Here, and I'm going to, you know, get all People are going to be mad at me. But here's my challenge. Unless we have a functioning uh, state representative system that can actually tackle this problem on the state level, nothing will ever happen. So if you want to help us on the state level, mm -hmm. do not focus your energy on the assembly who are busting their behind to try to move on these things. Okay. You've got to look at there are nine entities members in the state Senate out of Long Island right. who are wondering, do I take measures to determine about me winning an election or doing the right thing? That's where you focus your energy. That's how you move the needle. That's the way you're going to get some of these things done. Society can't work when all the money is going into very small amounts of people and certain types of people and not being spread out. One of the, the uh, biggest mistakes a contractor may make is signing a subcontract agreement or signing a contract in which they can't be profitable. And if you're bidding and if you're um, working as a subcontractor, if you can't make money on that subcontract or prime contract, don't do it, walk away. We need to build together. We need to change the whole focus and scope of how we see things and, and not dwell on what happened historically. You have to make sure that the culture that exists at the organization is not one that just solely drives a simulation to the culture. Because that means as a person who is diverse, I will not be able to come and be my authentic self in the workplace.